How are we doing, boys? We're fucking playing Casper. It's finally happened. We're finally here. We're fucking doing it. We're starting the game immediately. And please! Oh, oh, loud, loud fucking PlayStation intro. It looks like it's loud as fuck. How are we doing? How are we doing, boys? Spippy boys. This game's so weird because, like, Casper's away in film. Silence, you funny fool! I had it with your whining and Thank you for that. Uh, Casper is such... It's a Wayne's film, right? But it's kind of creepy. But the game is, like, strangely creepy. And look at this intro. It's like a horror game. Like, this just screams friendly, doesn't it? But based on, like, based on that, like, what would you think the gameplay of this game is? Uh, here's the, here's the menu screen. It's a pretty funky little screen. Just a JPEG with some, uh, some buttons. This is quite early in the PS1 as well, so that's, you know, why, I guess. <laughs> it's so basic. There's another JPEG for you. And then for a cutscene, what have we got? JPEGs! <laughs> Look, Casper up there, be a creepy wee bastard. Speeds us happy about it. There's a girl in my house. I wonder if she'll be my friend. Maybe if I get them both a present, they won't be afraid of me. Act one. Yes, boys. Act one. We just need to find shit. So this game's pretty weird. Um, this is the gameplay. We're gonna fucking. St you joke about that, uh, but so that we're basically it's all JPEGs. Um, we kind of wander around JPEGs. We can get some some fucking broccoli. And that puts down this, that this adds us up this meter that's on the bottom right, which uh, is health. I, I don't think you ever die. Like, I think we could, like, it, like I don't know what happens if we kill ourselves. But we'll try it. I think it just puts us back to the start of the game. But... Yep, hang on. Yep, we're just back here with 50 and 1 health, so whatever. And it also goes up. It, it looks like as you um i don't know how to bring that up on the screen weird so what we can do is move about we can't go over the walls although there is a cheat for that we can't go through walls he's casper's a ghost you would fucking think he'd be able to do that wouldn't you but the main goal of the game we're also going to ignore that door on the left because we don't need to do it yet we'll, we'll get to there eventually you pick up a key, you open a door, it uses the key. You see a switch on the wall, you press the switch, some shit happens. You pick up a key, you pick up a puzzle piece, you see this shit, you go, oh, opens the door. This is the whole game, boys. Uh, so we that, that was a brass key we picked up. They don't open doors, they open chests. But we do have, we do have an iron key. Mate, I don't know why everybody wanted it. I say everybody, it was just Crash and Dan. So, like, the whole point of the game is to to solve puzzles and avoid the ghosts. Fatso fucking appears all the time, by the way. So then the fun here is something's opened, but you don't know what. Also, you can open this with a brass key, but do you know what's inside? It's another brass key. There's literally no reason to open that, except just to have it open. That's all. He's giving us a weight. And that's all. He's fucking everywhere, man. He's constant. Right, so the reason we've been picking up these puzzle pieces is because 
There's a puzzle over here. A frame. Babe Fatso 1929. So we've picked up three puzzle pieces so far. This banjo kazooie, this shit. I'm missing a piece, so we need to use the weight. <laughs> I was wondering if the music would be loud. Like too loud, but. So we just shite out that weight over here and we get the last puzzle piece. Don't ask me how it works, I don't know. Oh shit! So this is the smoke morph icon. And what this does is it lets us do this. So what is the point of that, you might be wondering. Well, if we go up to these wee vents, although they kind of look like the sound of harmonicas to me, we could just fucking go right through, pick up a wee green tea and some broccoli, and come right back. So some of these um, take you to different places and sometimes take you to different places depending on when you win them. Like for this one. I think eventually there'll be another one that takes us there, but we can't go back that way, but I could be wrong. So you'll have noticed there's some stairs. We are avoiding the stairs because we don't need to go there yet. I'm just basically going to try and go through it as optimally as possible. We will go to these places though. So that switch and that vent open up this door. We're going to go through because there's a big fucking green arrow being like, here, by the way, you have not been through here yet. Now, funnily enough, there's a strange, strange glitch with this game on emulators. Uh, if you have the music on, you actually can't go through these doors, otherwise the game will crash. So you effectively can't play the game. It's very fun to deal with. Let's read the parchment. So this is uh, telling us how to solve the next puzzle. Because in here, there's four of these wee guys. These wee dooders. So if we just do this, it'll open up this wee door. But we're not going to go through there yet. Because I've not actually been through here yet. Yeah, we tuna, tuna sandwich, or a tuna sandwich, as Mikey would say. And what we've done is we've pressed a switch and it's done fucking nothing. But that's because you need to press another switch before anything will happen. Mate, tell me about it. I solved the fuck out of that puzzle. Got some food. There's literally no reason for the food. Um, because your health doesn't really matter in this game. You get too much food for it to ever matter. Barely anything can hurt you in this game. There's no need for it. There's a wee book. Oh, it just closed itself. It's a big book on the mind. Dr. Harvey would like to read this. Ah, oh, would they though? Cool. So that's one of the gifts found. We need to find another gift. Uh, to find the other gift, we need to be able to open the door. He already owns the fucking book. <laughs> yeah, but he's maybe not been around the house to, to see that it's there. He would never understand me without the book about the mind. I'm sure he's got loads of go uh, loads of books about it. He is a ghost therapist. Let's pick up each of the sandwich. Go through the vent. What's in here? Uh, a bed and a weight. We need a weight because we have a, a pressure plate. Thought he was a regular therapist. No, he's a therapist of the dead. That's what they say in the film. So you might be wondering, why are there two doors when you could just open one door? Well, if we were op to open this door, it opens that door. You don't remember that detail at all. I think word for word he says he's a therapist of the dead. When he finds out Casper Nick the Book's up, he's a therapist. Oh! Uh, that puzzle is essentially just doing it until you figure it out. Uh, it just turns out that I know how to do it, I guess. Uh, for this, we need another item, which we'll get later in the game. So we'll just leave that for now. Uh, we got away, so I'm going to go and shite it on this pressure plate up here and open up this wee wall. Get some keys. Hi, fatso. Oh no! And we got a puzzle piece. Of uh, a bit of armour. Brilliant. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Yeah, he, he's the therapist of the dead who doesn't believe in ghosts. 
But because this place is haunted, we thought he'd maybe try and, I don't know, debunk that. We might beat the game today. I, I, I'm going to be streaming for a, a while. Um, I'm going to be streaming for quite a long time. And this game maybe takes a few hours to beat. If you're quick. Because essentially all I'm doing is fanning about with switches. And puzzle pieces and stuff like that. The biggest factor about this game is getting lost. Because the Whipstaff Manor is a, an actual maze. This before I forget it's there because I've actually had done playthroughs where I've forgotten that puzzle piece is there. We got a fool's gold coin, which uh, will possibly matter later, much, much later in the game. Like literally the end of the game. The world record for this game. It's a beautiful red rose. It's like an hour this and a half. Make a great present for cat. And that's not happening. Although the cheap percent is actually um, 58 seconds because you can beat this game. In under a minute. Uh, which I'll show off later. If we try to go over here, Casper will just be like, nah, bitch. I don't want to get lost in the garden maze right now. I have things He's to do. He's also lost half his head. I can make friends with Cat and Dr. Harvey. So there's a weird glitch that's going on just now where we'll get things like that coming up and they won't uh, animate the first top, the top half of it. That's just something we're going to have to deal with. It was, it's honestly the the least invasive glitch that I've had to deal with at getting this game set up. So anyway, we now have a rose, and we now have the book. That's literally all we need. You need to find the top of your heat, Casper, yep. Uh, all of the ghosts are going to have that problem, I'm afraid. But it's either that or we have no music through the whole game. I mean, you might be sick of the music eventually, because there's only like five tracks in the game, but still. So part of this game is kind of exploration. Ooh. I don't care. <laughs> so this game, as a ghost, can you not just go through walls? No. You would think he could. There is a cheat that you can do to go over the walls, but that's as far as we're getting there. Uh, also, this game doesn't have any jump scares, however, sometimes the ghosts just shout at you. Anyway, that is Act 1 complete. We've got the gifts. We're going to give it to the people. What? Who? Who are you? I'm Casper. I'm a ghost, but I'm a friendly ghost. You have to trust also, me. Also, it's not uh, Christina Ricci and Bill Pullman. It's I, two I different guess. actors that are playing them in this. My name is in case you were wondering. And this is my dad, Dr. James Harvey. Therapist to the dead. Therapist to the dead. <laughs> are you really a ghost? <laughs> yes, rightly free Christina yes, Ricci. DMCA proof Christina Ricci. Stretch, stinky, and fatso. You have to watch out for them. They are not friendly. Meanwhile. <laughs> What's it like to die? We're skipping like most of the film here. Being born, only backwards. I remember, I didn't go where I was supposed to. I stayed behind, so my dad wouldn't be lonely. I remember now. He invented a machine to bring me back to life. The Lazarus. I remember! W where is it? Good question. My dad hid it so no one can find it. But I remember where it is. It's in the secret laboratory. <laughs> Meanwhile, in the secret laboratory. Casper has made some fleshy friends. He might get some fancy ideas. <laughs> Could you imagine? Fleshy Why didn't he? Right enough. We don't want that to happen. Right, boy? Oh, God. Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> Fucking stretch, man. Don't. Oh, who will clean up our stuff? And who will cook for us? All right, boys. We have to make sure Casper can't use that fleshy-making Lazarus machine. So we'll <laughs> disassemble it and hide the pieces where he can't get to them. Stretch thinking fat. So yeah, that's them. Assemble right. The Lazarus. So those dicks have taken apart the Lazarus. They've just actually dismantled this fucking machine and um, hidden it. <laughs> Oh, now we've got a camera. 
It's a camera with a flash. It belongs to Dr. Harvey, but I don't think he'll mind if I borrow it for a while. <laughs> Fuck it, that's actually it, right? Right, the camera is for use uh, later on in the game, but slight warning for um, epileptics, people with uh, epilepsy, people with um, sensitivity, because it's fucking bright. It's like this. Uh, got some perfume. We're just gonna knock Cat's perfume. The perfume smells great. It's Cat's, but I need it. I'm sure she wouldn't mind me borrowing it. And then, uh, like you said, we're gonna raid our cat straw and get a jigsaw piece. So although you were joking, Thong Man, it did actually happen. <laughs> right. It's cool. So, now we're kind of just left to explore the whole game. Like, literally the whole game. Act 2 is the whole game. Who voices Casper? I actually don't know who voices Casper in it, to be honest. Uh, let's take a quick look in the attic, which, by the way, has the weirdest music in the game. Uh, we won't really hear much of it right now, but we will later. <laughs> and we've just fucking stolen it. Right, so if I was to pre if I was to go on the right then, it would take us back to this wee hallway we were just in. However, if you were a sneaky little bastard and decided to go on the left one again... Oh, look at this! Secret -y room. I say secret, it's like mandatory, more or less. Because it lets you go into this room. He's voiced by Movie Cat. Oh, it's, I mean... Up, Over here, short <laughs> I mean, that kind of makes sense. So here's Stretch's bed. It's long, narrow and cold, just like my uncle. Here's uh, Fatso's bed. It's extra wide. Hmm. This is, uh, it's wide and bulky and twisted, just like my uncle. And then Stinky. Hmm. Uh, it would just be like any ordinary bed, if only it didn't hmm. stink. Like my uncle! Uh, yeah, the, the three uncles are voiced by the, the movie um, movie boys as well. <laughs> God damn it, long man. Smellogram. Stinky is, uh, he's in that vent. Oh, it's the social work. So this is a secret room, um, but we need a silver key to open that door, which uh, we do not have. We've got a green key, but we don't have a silver key. So we'll just have to come back later. This is half this game, is finding shit that you can't deal with yet, by the way. Over here, Got a brass key, there was no point in opening that door. If you go down here, there's some hidden tuna sandwiches, which by the way, I don't think you want. We can't go in there yet, so we'll leave it for later. Why is Stinky spelled like that? I don't know. I really don't. I would have thought it was it would end with a Y. I don't know why they've done that. It reminds me of um obviously Crash and Thongman know my brother. Uh his name is Johnny and he spells his uh we spell his name IE instead of with a Y at the end. Does that do you on that in as well? Right, we're gonna fight our first boss. Remember this room over to the left that I said we weren't gonna go in yet? We're gonna go in now. I want my dinner, Casper. Feed me. Cool. So we need to we need to defeat Fatso. Where are you, you bastard? You? There he is. Look at him. He's fucking just chasing us down. Be a wee creep. No, it's not that unusual. I've definitely seen it outside of that. Right. We can't actually fight him yet. We need to pick up some items. There's a whole bunch of food here, including hamburgers. Uh, and also over here is a wee bucket. But the hamburgers are actually in my inventory. Because that's genuinely how we're going to beat them. We're going to feed them hamburgers. Come here, where are you? There you go. We're going to shite at a hamburger. He's going to have a, have a munch. Another one. And then one last one. There you go. Now he's got to go for a weekend. 
And that's him. He's beaten. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. So, that was a fight. This game's shit. It's a, it's an experience, let me tell you. It's not an incredibly interesting game. I'll tell you that. Uh, up to the left, there's another boss fight, but I think we need to fanny about for a bit first. Oh, what does this say? There is more to Whipstaff Manor than meets the eye. Use the air vents to travel around once you've learned how to go up in smoke. Aye, so I think you're meant to read that before you get the power. Because you're sitting going, what the fuck do I do in this game? <laughs> Why did they hide it behind the fucking portrait? What's that about? Alright, here's another boss fight. Smellogram. Oh, this one works. Smellogram for Casper. Mm, okay, fair enough. Right, Stinky. See, he's just literally going to chase us around and just fucking burp on us. Uh, so what we need to do is get the perfume out and fucking spray him with it. There you go. I found one of the missing that could be a parts. that could be one of the sound bites actually. Is him just saying smellogram? And he dropped a bag of fool's gold, which again, not useful until the end of the game, and even then, it's barely useful. Painted the willy on the wall of my grand's old house before we papered that like 16 years ago. Wonder if someone will find that as they try to rebuild some wanky necromancer machine in Trump Town. <laughs> Aye, maybe. And they'll be like, what? Why? Uh, so. There's a green door over this way. Let's go. Alright, so yeah, bastard, yeah. Cool, we've now found all the puzzle pieces for the next jigsaw, so... It's all good. Because it's in here. Hmm. It's a frame with the legend Sir Stretch, Knight of the Ghostly Table. Brilliant. And we get... The Bouncing Ball Morph Icon. So what that does is it turns us into a bouncy ball. And we use that to get through this. The gimmick is they were always ghosts. Yeah, I guess. It's a really weird thing. I don't know if it's meant to make sense. I don't quite know what they were on when they made this, if I'm honest with you. Sometimes the only way to get any further is to get a little pushy. Get a little what? The guy who voice stretched was legit nearly seven foot tall. <laughs> That's what... To be honest, it's not an awful idea. Ah, oh, you bastard. Ah, oh, what am I gonna do? If only there was a pressure plate in the middle of the room somewhere that I could just push this barrel onto. Nice. Just in here. I don't think I can get through here yet. Nah. I think that's way later in the game. So the switch over there can open now. Uh, while we're in here, we can get our bucket and fill it with water. That'll come in handy later. Purple key. Why does... From, I don't know. I really don't. You would think that it would just be like, you put the pressure plate on and the door opens and then that's, you sorted that puzzle out, but no. And it barely makes you do anything extra too. With this fucking balance. I like that this game is just like, offending you by its existence. 
and that one takes me right back. So for the bucket of water, what do we do? We literally just extinguish the fire. And we can fucking smoke more of ourselves out of there. I found a secret room. Where we find a, a wee room with hello spelled in coins. And I, the question that you might have in your mind is, can you go through all the wee uh, uh, fireplaces? And the answer is, uh-huh, you, you absolutely can. And more or less have to. Um, uh, and to get back to that room, we have to go all the way over here. Down here and go through this wee vent. I mean, see, to be honest, mate, you probably could. There's no much to this game. The only thing you need to be doing is uh, making it awkward and maze-like with loads of, like, different coloured doors and shit like that. It would not be difficult to make this. Uh, let's in here again. I remember bits of, um... Okay. I remember bits of uh, certain places in this game, but not in them. Okay. It's basically a flash game. I mean, yeah, it more or less is a flash game. Every switch in the manor has a function. Figure out which switch does what, and you'll get far. Some cut just gone about putting up the most obvious shit on the walls, man. Uh, oh, wait a minute, there's a chair, isn't there? Yeah, there's a chair. So instead of using a weight as well, you can just pat chairs down. Yeah, the, the advice is terrible. <laughs> you think that's Har- it is Harvey, yeah. It's the guy who plays Harvey that, that's doing that. <laughs> I read up on the- uh, No, no fun now. I read up on the wiki, um, well, I was still working, being like, uh, what can I talk about in this fucking game? Well, yeah, it's the same voice actor, but I, I don't think it's meant to be um, the character. Because he, he does the, the, the narration on the, like, Act 1, find tokens of friendship. You know, it's that guy as well. I think they just didn't have very many voice actors, you know? Um, I need to go back to this side. To go back to where we were before, when we were getting the tokens. But I think this door's open now? Yes, it has. I think the fool's gold is meant to just be like, haha, get it up here, you picked up something shite. Um, I need to guess what these are. I think it's this. Yes. Unsurprisingly, the guy who plays Stinky is a regular Looney Tunes voice actor. Who is he again? I feel like I recognise him. We've got another green key. I know where another green door is. Joe Alaski. I don't know about that name. I know that uh, Fat's always played by Brad Garrett. And that is it. That's as far as my voice actor knowledge goes there. Right, so we have the power to get in here, but we only have two jigsaw pieces. Oh, really? The only voice actors I know that do, like Bugs Bunny sp uh, specifically, was, uh, well, obviously Bill White, but um, Billy West as well. He's done it for a long time. I, I don't know what that opened. I think it does video game Bugs Bunny. Like a uh, Lost in Time Bugs Bunny. He's also Grandpa Lou in Rugrats. Oh, I can kind of hear it. Speaking of Rugrats, Rugrats is probably going to be the next PS1 game to do. Nice. I don't know where this other jigsaw piece is though. So that'll be fun. <laughs> we could be playing it right enough, but we're not. Back in action. Fox Money, Daffy Dark. I don't think I played that. God. Lost in time, man. 
that game is good, but see, eventually it becomes great. Um, we will explore the garden area a bit more later, I think. Oh, Where will we do it? Nah, we'll have a we'll have a wonder. There's no harm in wandering. He wasn't in Bugs Bunny Lost in Time. Oh, really? That's weird. That he would he would be in that game but not playing Bugs. The level requirement unlock requirements are mad, but also the game is also a bit mad sometimes. Right. So these wee sticks are switches. Uh, the thing about this garden area. There's a couple of mandatory things, but uh, up here, there's a wee locked door. A part, a back part of the house that he's never seen before. That's an entirely optional area. Uh, you need to kind of fanny about to unlock it, to be honest, but you don't have to, to beat the game. And although I've marked this as 100%, I actually don't think I've ever gotten a hundred percent because I've been left with like a red key at the end of the game. Oh sweet! I'm so glad I came this way. That's actually the puzzle piece I need. Cool. That's a lot of time that I could have wasted, spared. The wee, wee shed. That's where they keep the bodies. Also, it's weird because it sounds like they've had like an orchestra play do the music for this game, and nobody fucking cared about it except us, me and you, Crash. And even then, I don't even think you really cared about it. <laughs> so the thing about that song is it goes on. There's more to that song, but for some reason in the game it stops there. I don't know if that's like a, a programming glitch or something, but there you are. Fun fact for the day. Maybe it continues in the 3DO or Saturn version of the game, but it doesn't here. And I've never played the 3DO version or the Saturn version, so... Is he in the night court? For fuck's sake, of course he was. I need to get to this switch over here, and I don't remember how. Much like the rest of the game, this is a maze. So when was the last time you ever seen the film, Casper? Well, see, the thing about the game is um, there's a room right at the start of the game. If you can fly over walls, it has every single item in the game. Like, I don't know if it's like a dev room or something, but 2000s at the latest. I think I've seen it a few years ago. I, I, think, I think I watched it at Kieran's once for some fucking reason. I just remember how well it's it's a decent enough film. The only part I would say doesn't hold up and is quite strange now is the part where Casper fucking whispers to Christina Ricci while she's sleeping, "Can I keep you?" Because he's an actual wee creep man. Like, what is that about? I fucking hate this room so much because I can never find the way to go. Casper's angry at the image. Respond to him in Discord, kitten. <laughs> These wee fucking face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Casper be creeping. Send me something on Discord, is that what you're saying? No, no. Cool. 
Sometimes I'm not sure. You sent me like a fucking a Photoshop picture of uh, Casper being fucking raging. Uh, I suppose we can do this later. We'll have actual reason to be in here later, so I guess we can wait till then. Otherwise, I'm just wasting time just fanning about in there, trying to find a way to go. We will have to do Lost in Time at some point, but Lost in Time is far too long to be a one shot. That's a fucking series, is that? Now we have the power to turn into a fucking saw. Do you know something? I've never played that. I never got Time Busters. I think my cousin had it, but I didn't play much of it. I was always a lost in time guy. So, the saw, as you may have kind of figured already, we turn into a big fucking saw, which I don't know how Casper does that. And then we literally doing that shit. Played it once your cousin couldn't finish the tutorial. I don't know, I think I may remember it having the same issue, if I'm honest with you. Right, this vent will take me back to the room we were just in a minute ago, so I'm gonna go up the stairs instead. Also, what is with the room layout of this fucking place? Dirty bastards, man. Dirty ghost bastards. Oh yeah, no. I definitely beat it once though, when I was younger. But that's because I had a lot of time for it. It really, it's a fucking great game. Probably do that at some point. Right, I've just kind of clocked that I've got a purple. I've got a couple of purple keys on me now. Yeah, I've got two. Mhm. Mm uh, so there's a purple door. Let's open this one. How does it even carry anything? I mean, that's a really fair point, to be honest. His ghost pockets and his ghost pussy. <laughs> All great answers. Where does he carry his brain? I mean, he doesn't have any organs. He's a fucking ghost, man. Do you not remember the film? When uh, the ghosts would have breakfast, it would just fucking fall through them. Same answer in the bus. Uh, I was just, I don't know if I, I thought one of the doors would open now, but I'm a fucking idiot. That was a completely different open zone. Let's go downstairs. Because I think that room opens a door that we get to later. Uh, but this door's open now, so what's in here? Ah yes, this fucking room. What was the point in this, by the way? Just doing all that so that I could fucking open this wee... This wee fucking opening. The game has so much of that. Uh, wee bathroom. I don't need to open that. I'm not going to waste a key on it. Oh, a wee tuna sandwich. Thank you very much. I don't think I want any of it. Now I need to go back. If you only played Metroid and wondered how to make a Metroid game without combat or any interesting features in the rooms, yes. Yes, I do. Cool, now I can go through here. This is like the third time they've done this to me now, and it's only been like 10 minutes. Oh my god, move. That is a bit Metroidvania. I'm pretty sure that um, that vent takes you back to the start of the room, so I don't want to go through it. Just yet. One of those things you just sort of learn by doing, you know, trial by... Uh, trial and error, that kind of thing. Metroid Spur. <laughs> yeah, this this was a 
This was a pioneer in the genre, so it was. I'm not like you, Chris. The thought of like, doing a remake, or not a remake, a sequel or something similar to this isn't an awful one. But the problem is who would be who would play it? Even stole the smoke power. Bastards. Dirty bastards. It'd be worth making just to say you made it. I mean I suppose. I don't think it would take very long. I think the the, the most intensive part would be designing it so that it made sense. You know. Right, gonna bounce on this bed. To go through this wee hole. I mean it needs to be it needs to be playable. Like say what you want about this game. This game's playable, you can beat it. Legitimately. All the stuff kinda does make sense. It's, it's just a bit glue. It just wastes your time a bit. Absolutely, positively everything. A tube of glue that works on absolutely positively everything, even ghosts. Playable, but it's not that coherent. Uh, I suppose it is, it is supposed to be a massive maze, though, and it it works like it works as that. There's no banana fishing rod, at least. Well, no, you don't have to fanny about with like combining items, but I guess that would also make it a bit more interesting as opposed to just fetch quest the game, you know? You might have a browse your PS2 collection late. Why is collection in, uh, in quotation marks? I wonder. Do you know what I, I totally want to stream at some point? Uh, I'd have to get it working on on um on an emulator or something and even then I don't know about it. Fucking no actually I, I say that but I couldn't I wanna play the getaway again. But the getaway has like tits. And that's uh that's completely risking a a, a fucking ban right there. Shit. Where am I going? Okay, I, I thought it was in a different room than it was. It's all good. Right, we've got a couple of things to do. People play mature content games when you're old. Yeah, but, I mean... They're on R RPG. Yeah, but did they go into the strip clubs? I know that Twitch, when, when, um... When Thingy came out, Cyberpunk, there was this whole conversation about first party titles being able to have the nudity in it, but I don't know how that would work with the getaway. Because it's not censored. Like at all. I think you I think that's actually on the ban list as well, Candy Keen. I actually think you're not allowed to play that game on Twitch, otherwise you will be banned. The getaway, however, is not on that list. Right, for real though. Uh, if you are sensitive, uh, uh, like, if, if you're epileptic uh, and have sensitivity, you know, prone to seizures, you might want to look away for the next couple of seconds, because I'm about to fight a boss in, with lots of flashes. <laughs> it's fat, so he's in the bath! And he's dead. That's it. That was the boss fight. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. I don't think he even attacks you. Or maybe he comes out the bath and chases you, actually. Maybe that's what happens. But if you've got the camera, then it's fine. That was a boss fight. We took a, we took pictures of Fatso and he died of embarrassment. Again. Somebody's doing it right now. Might have to scroll their rod. Oh, I mean, maybe that's not a bad idea then. Because I'd well play the getaway. <laughs> Uh, there's a purple bow over here that leads me up to the attic. The attic is full of jump scares, by the way. No! See? Boss fights without certain key. Yeah, you basically for the boss fights you need a particular item or power. 
to beat them. Uh, yeah, there we go, we hand. <laughs> it's a very spooky area, the attic. What's even spookier is um Boss fight! I don't have the key. I don't have the uh... about ghosts! Prepare to be invaded! I don't have the items I need for this boss though, so we'll have a look at this one and then we'll leave. Fatso fucking sends out ghost tanks to get you. Did they do anything? No, they just run into me. That's always a Jojo stand you, sir. Yeah, the attic is fucking massive. Yeah, man, he's fucking got Vulcan Raven out there coming to get me. Throw grenades at it. I wish that was the way you killed him. But it's not, unfortunately. Right, there's another wee frame down here. I don't think I have any of the puzzle pieces for it. I think we've got pieces for a different puzzle. Hmm. Whipstaff Banner. Yeah, so we've got... Um, can't really see what it is, but it's a, it's a picture of the three uncles that we've got just now. Let's pick up this green key, because we need all the green keys we can get. There's a room coming up but that has like four doors. Can't go in there, it's too dark and I won't be able to see a thing. Cool. Uh, previously, whenever I played this on emulator, those wee screens don't pop up, so the game just stops for a while. Uh, and I was like terrified, like what the fuck have I done? Why is it broken? What's gonna happen? Am I getting jump scared? But no. Just turns out emulation is dodgy. There's a piece of the Whipstaff Manor puzzle though. So we'll just pop that in here so that we don't have to do it later. Uh, and I think for now we're effectively finished with the attic. But we will be back eventually because we've got loads of puzzle pieces to find. This uh, track's really weird, but it does end up eventually turning into this like massive, like crescendo orchestra fucking thing. It's so crazy, but you won't hear it until like the end of the game. So I guess stay tuned for that. Right, let's go sort out these um, green keys we've got. I know all those carrots on the right. I fucking don't don't care. Don't bother with them. In fact. No. I need a blue key for a room up those stairs. Don't have a blue key, unfortunately. Right, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a door up here that I've not been able to get through yet. A blue key. A spooky blue key, mate. Oh, this is new. This is a new switch we've not pressed. Oh, did fucking nothing. Let's morph. It's morphin' time, boys. It's morphin' time. Is this open yet? Nope. Let's see this wee room. This room is one of the last rooms in the game. It's just under me there. It's just chilling in here. Right. Let's destroy this. Like X. It's so annoying having to do that. I did a let's play this game a long time ago and when it got to these sections I literally just like flew over the walls because I didn't want to be dealing with this annoying stuff yeah it's a it's a fucking awful sound and I apologize for the bleeding of your ears uh, there's a wee puzzle piece hidden back here of um it looks like fat so it's fat face but there's something weird about it okay you didn't have to fat shave on there, Casper. That was really not needed. It's 2021, mate. Body positivity. You can't even go about saying that about people. <laughs> exactly. Casper's a wee prick, man. Right. Green door. One of fucking many. 
Look out, glowworm! Over here, short sheep! Hey, bolt head! <laughs> What's over here? Wow, nothing in there. Yeah, yeah. Got me. Uh. <laughs> There's one puzzle later um, that I do not know the answer to because there's far too many variables. Like, see when it's just like that and there's only like three uh, things to play about with. It's dead easy to figure it out, but eventually it gets really annoying. Also, warning for bleeding ears, we're gonna do the saw thing again. Eventually we will run out of, um, of them, so don't worry. A whole glass of milk and some green keys. We're also gonna extinguish the fire. We'll go through and see what we find. What have we got? Oh good! Phil's gold and a few apples. How do you like them apples? I don't. They're useless. There was no point to that. Malagram. And that time he took away the fucking thing. Raging boys. You've not got very much to work with, do you, mate? It's not much. It's not a very uh, patter-filled game, I'm afraid. Raging. <laughs> right, green door. I don't know why I picked the morph thing. I need the green keys to open these. And then I think I'm stuck because I need one more key to get to the next area. Raging boys. Raging. Great. So where's next then? Well, if we go back to the room... Oh, this is open now. Never mind, we can go down here. Can you stream this later tonight too? You're actually falling asleep. <laughs> You wanted this, mate. You asked for it. I wish I could say that the game gets more interesting, but it doesn't, really. The only interesting thing about it is, like, the boss fights. And even then, they are dire, for the most part. And you could go for a wee nap. And then every time I do the wee saw animation, you'll be woken up by your fucking ears bleeding. Oh yeah, well I, I really do like this game just because, I guess nostalgia, that's really the only driving force I've got for it, but you know, it'd be different, it'd be different I think if I was playing this and being like, this game's so bad, why am I playing it? Like I actually enjoy just fanning about playing this game. Um, I just picked up a fucking jug of piss there, do you see that? Right, it was lemonade. But, you know. uh, I'm all out of keys. Things are about to get bad. You're just thinking they will explore big mansions kind of fun too. So I mean, yeah, it, see, exploring it and then like having to find out, having to try and remember where you've been and where you need to go next. It's interesting. Cool, got a brass key. I have one brass key and two chests to open. This could go badly, boys. Which chest do we open? There's a 50-50. Hi, hello, but which one is gonna be good? I don't know what's in either of them. You say the one on the right. Okay. Not awful, we... Oh, okay, actually, it is awful. We've got four weights already, so... But also, I don't know what's in the left one yet, so... Uh, I mean, we could use a weight, or we could just take this chair down. So we've opened the door, so that's nice. It's gonna weigh your conscious for a while. God damn it. I would have thought they were doing these we um... You dirty bastards. I need to go through a whole other section to get back there now. I would have thought that it would be doing all this shit so that it could hide, that it doesn't have animations for things moving, but it clearly 
does have those animations, so... Oh boys, it's a green key! I know y'all were wondering where my next green key would come from, but... We fun it, don't you worry boys, we're on it! I can't take this much excitement though, can you? And you might have heard that this moved, so now we have another switch. Where are the red, white, and blue keys? I mean, probably don't have one. You do get keys of all those colours, believe it or not. Uh, so we have just more Whipstaff Manor. It is. So we've got like remnants of four different puzzles right now. Why are you playing it? Because, Mikey, I really like this game. That's why I'm playing it. I mean, also, Crash asked for it and so did Dan the Ghostman, who, by the way, I have noticed isn't even here to see his favourite game being played. <sighs> I mean, yeah, you played Pantsu Hunter, like, and then complained about it the whole time. <laughs> Like, I was just saying, like, it's not like I'm playing this game and being like, this game is the worst thing, why am I playing it? I'm loving playing this. This is so good to just chill and just talk shit about. My best way was asked me to play, but Prince of Persia only showed up for 30 minutes. Here, the thing about those Prince of Persia games are they're really good. Hey, Mikey. What you doing? What you up to? Bye. Dad's probably to pub again. Probably that boy's got a, that boy's got a problem, so he does. And I'm glad you're you're loving it, Candy Keen. I really am. Cause uh it's not a very interesting game. Is it the Weinstein is it the Weinstein company, Mikey? Cause I imagine it is. It would also explain why Casper's a fucking wee creep. It's making you sleepy. It's kind of nice, but I mean, what you could do is you could just shove this back on later on, um, shove the VOD on, and that will help you go to sleep. Or if you want an entirely different bit of commentary, I ha I done a let's play of this years ago, so that's on YouTube too. But now I need to go all the way back to that room <laughs> because now we've opened that fucking. Door over just that. You don't remember? Really. So the Let's Play as well. It was Iberian Mallet that was on. Uh, the, the thing about the Let's Play is see to save time. I did the wall, the going over walls cheat, so that you didn't have to watch me go through all the morphs all the time. Except the saw one because that got rid of doors, but. <laughs> Is there not something in here I need to get? Or am I gonna have my nut? I thought there was like a puzzle piece in here. No? Okay. Uh, we still don't have anything super substantial. To continue the game. Um, I'm gonna go back to this wee section down here and see if anything opened up. When we, were, when we were away, because sometimes that just happens. Sometimes doors just open. What's on here? Doesn't look like anything has though. Uh, we need keys. We've got a brass key. So we can open this chest and see what's in here. Yep. We found a brass key. Brilliant. I'd quite like to get into that room, but I think we need to get some keys first so that we can open these doors. Um, I think I know just the place to go to to get a key. Hopefully. We'll see. But it does involve backtracking quite a ways. Oh, did you hear that? Something opened in here. I don't know what. Oh, shit, hold on. Oh, nice. Well, okay, I mean, it's a brass key. I could be down with some iron keys. 
What kind of diarrhea would you say this game is like? I wouldn't say it's like diarrhea. Michael might, uh, Don Man might uh, say otherwise. He's, he's uh, not having a great time with it. <laughs> no, we just always uh, make jokes like that. Like making fun of AVGN and that. To be fair, I've been watching. I've been watching a lot of AVGN and it is crazy just how much of that there was. <laughs> like, Jesus, James, man, get a. Get, get a bit of script going. Like, come on. What's in here? We've. We had a wee shot of this area. I'm wondering if anything's open since then. Oh, yeah, we didn't go through here. No, no, he has not. Some of the things that he said, I'm like, ooh, ooh that's on the nose. You can't, don't say that anymore. Uh, so this is where we draw this one. Uh, it's called Bella Senorita El Corpulenta. It also makes you wonder if, like, an iron weight. Brilliant, thank you. Was that actually good back then too? I mean... Mm, I think it's just your level of humour evolves as you get older, obviously. Like, the more you mature, the less you find... Less of it you find funny. I've got a brass key. Oh, nice! What room is this? Oh, I think that's the room we were just in before. Something's opened in there. I wonder what? We'll have a look later. But right now, we've got a new fucking... A new bit to go through. Because we just got a red key, and right below us is a red door. That's what I was thinking. That's, that's actually what I was moving on to before I got sidetracked by the game I'm playing. But obviously, watching Nostalgia Critic now is a bad time. Right, so the puzzle, this isn't really a puzzle, but you need to open all three of these. It's not a case of like, the item is in one of them and you have to guess the right one. You literally need to open all three of them to get an item. And I don't have any brass keys, so I'll come back. Uh, nothing in here open. Oh, nothing here. <laughs> I don't know, I don't think I've ever mentioned it to you before, but there's this one guy on YouTube. We've watched him a few times now. Oh shit man, there's two brass keys down there. How did I get down there? Who like, he his entire channel is reacting to Nostalgia Critic and all that. But he's like barely reacting, he's basically just watching the video and agreeing with what he says. He's just like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. <laughs> it does look like that, you're right. The Ivy Gamer. How did I open this? Ah, oh, damn. There's like a puzzle I'm missing. Can I find it? I guess we'll find it later. It is a very meaningless channel. It's barely content, it's really weird. But the guy gets like loads of views, it's not even like he's like getting like single digit, possibly double digit views. The guy's getting thousands, it's crazy. Who's watching this shit? Us, apparently. Maybe they do. Candy Key Gaming was a very underrated channel. I saw was Iberian Mallet, mate. Incredibly underrated. No, 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 no. But I, I see you. You were inspired by him. You took his name. I see. I see how it is. Uh, I take it this is close, though. Yeah. Actually, I don't think this is the room I was thinking it was. No, it absolutely wasn't. Okay. Uh, oh, it's getting right back here, yeah. I need to go all the way over now. I don't know what room that was then, that the door unlocked earlier. I guess we'll find out. He's teen on Twitch. He loves it. He's keen on candy and he's keen on Twitch. Uh, 
Uh, okay. The question is, where do I go now? I have a vague idea. Like, I was going to go... What I was going to do was this, first of all. Let's see what's up here. Because we've not been here yet. <laughs> you were like, actually, this isn't great. Oh shit, man! Cool. Three... Three brass keys. It's exactly what I'm wanting. I'm wanting. Sorry. I can't speak. Luigi's Mansion, man. See Luigi's Mansion 1? What a fucking game. What a game that is. See Luigi's Mansion 2? Not very good. See Luigi's Mansion 3 though? It's pretty good. I don't think it's as enjoyable as the first one, but, but it's still really good. It does help having it uh, spelled like that, to be honest. Hey, what do we get? It's a winding key. It's a winding it must be key. Must one of those mechanical devices. All right, sorry, Cash, but I didn't realize you had more fucking lines. Yeah, it kind of does. It's a bit too long for its own good, but uh, it's still good. It's still good. Fucking Kenny Lynch too, man. Mikey, it's time. Will come. Just you, just you wait, son. Just you wait. Have I fucked this? Is there something behind this vent that opens that? No, it just doesn't open yet. Okay, that's fine. So the winding key that we just got is an item that we need to defeat a boss later. But uh, we also need another item before we can defeat that boss, so be a while before we find it. <laughs> ah, if only we were on your chat with your your commands. I'm sure there's a, a, a sound bite that, that would relate. Crickets, maybe? Uh, yeah, I need blue keys. Can't, can't get through this area without blue keys. It's not a bad one, actually. Not a bad one. Ah! Oh. No, no, I'm re I'll be playing it. A dud. There you go. No, 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 it's fine. I played it again. Where does this take me? Oh, back here. My DMGS2 video. The dud. That's why. No, I was going to leave that one hanging, but not actually... Not actually, you know... Given the payoff? Aye, it was a bit weird not having the actual dud bit, like what was the point in that? Um, right, I'm going down here again. God damn it, Mikey, man. You can play it on, um, I mean, if you get a, a copy on Vita or your PlayStation 3 or something. It's not just on an Xbox 360, son. Anything opened over here? I wonder. I can get... Oh, this is open now. Refill this. I think there's one in here. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I've already been through here. Ha, <laughs> I'm an idiot. Already forgot where I am. It's three on GOG. I thought it was just two and um, something else. I didn't think it's. I didn't think three was. Okay, there's actually no point in coming here. I think you may be wrong. I don't think it's three. two. Definitely is, but um, not sure about not sure about three at all. Does this take me back to where I was a second ago? Where the fuck am I right now? 
See you after me. You have a good one. I thought it was MGS1. Yeah. Well, let me go. This is. <laughs> Cheers for the bits, mate. You've angered Bruce Willis. Uh, what's in here? Oh. Shit, yeah. This room, I think, is pointless now. We'll have a, I'll have a quick look, just in case. Half of this game is honestly just getting lost. I can't do Shut up, Casper. But yeah, I would say the film holds up. Actually, I think I need to open that door to open that shortcut up there. And that's a bastard is what that is. I don't think there's anything in here that I can get. No, I don't think so. Did I just continue our conversation over half an hour ago? I think of it. Did I mention the movie again? I don't remember. <laughs> I just keep bringing it back. Like, uh, I need to open this, and I don't have any keys. Asper, can you just fucking like? Conjure up a key. Not know one of your ghost powers, no. Right, let's go back to the garden and see if we can open up this uh, this secret room. Maybe there's some keys in there. What is the best video game movie though? Let's go with Mikey's suggestion of conversation. No, you can't turn into a key. Wait. No, you can't turn into a key. No, but you can turn into a few weird things that you wouldn't have expected him to. But I'll not spoil that. Toy Story 2. What a fucking great... Hold on. Hold on. I need, like, clarification on this question. Are you talking about... Are you talking about... Movie adaptations? Or... Are you talking about... Licensed video games? Movie based on a game? That's what I thought. Really new texture bit right there. License... So, you're, so Candy, you're talking about licensed video games, but Mikey was talking about video game, uh, movie adaptations of video games. Um, I mean, for your one, Candy, Toy Story 2 is a good shout. I'm not sure if I necessarily agree, but right now I can't remember any. I think, though, the best video game... Uh, movie adaptation is probably the first Silent Hill. Not that there's a huge bar, but that's probably what I would say. Tim Raider. Nah, I can't agree with you there, son. Uh, to be fair, I've never seen it, but... Mm, yeah, okay. Detective Pikachu was good. I, I kind of forget that Detective Pikachu is also a game. Because I've never played it, and probably won't. Where the fuck is this route? I mean, if I keep following like the left wall or something, I'll eventually get there, yeah? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. What's in here? Oh, there it is! How the fuck did I miss that? 
Yeah, it's a 10 out of 10, but not for the right reasons, though. Not because it's a fucking fantastic movie. <laughs> I don't really know where that opened. I'm just hoping that I find a really obvious bit that I've not been in before. Oh, two seconds, guys. Two wee seconds. My door is going. Right. Here we go. Sorry about that, boys. Let's continue Casper's wee adventure. Trying to find out where the fuck I'm gone. See if we can find some keys. Right, this is the bit that opened up. <laughs> Right, let's go into the shed. I found a secret room. A fucking red key as well. Exactly what we're after. As you explore with Staff Manor, it's a good idea to draw a map to keep track of your progress. This is a big house, and it's easy to get lost. You're no fucking joking, mate. Thing is, but I've played this game enough times to um and know roughly where I am. Also, a lovely wee secret here, but behind the house, or behind this tree, there's a switch. <laughs> what is Harvey doing leaving these notes about? Like, how did he get there? I couldn't get there. I'm a fucking ghost. Like. Anyway, that opened up this area up the top which is an entirely optional area because it's secret actually I found a secret room so there's uh, nothing in here that you need to complete the game but it helps also you may have noticed this rocking chair is the only one in the game that is not moving Gotta be paying attention in this game. Hope you enjoyed the start of this song, because you're gonna be hearing it a couple of times. Two brass keys. That's what I'm after. I mean so I could actually really be doing with some iron keys. But 
there's only three of them here. Oh, you bastard, you. There we go, a little picture, Casper. And we need a gold key to open that door. We are not going to see this room again for a very long time. Well, we got a couple of brass keys out of it, so... Hopefully that will help. I was really hoping to get an iron key. At least one iron key. I now need to try and think of places to go, which one of them, I've got a red key now, so I can get through at least one door that I know of. God, I can't imagine having a route sorted for this game for like a speedrun. Like, like the speedrun is like an hour and a half long or something like that. I can't imagine how fucking optimised it is. Yes, I do want to go this way. Just trying to remember in my head the route that I'm going. Because like old Harvey warned, this place is a fucking maze. Right. In here, there's a couple of red. There's a red door I need to get through. Not a couple of them, just one. Yes, there's a boy. And there's an iron key. Yes, boys. Right, here's a puzzle for you. Put the chairs on the pressure plates. That's your puzzle. Can I get through this door? Yeah. Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Move that one over to the left. <clears throat> Done in gameplay! Ooh, ooh. Thought the wall had stopped me there, turns out. Just an idiot. It's all good. You might remember this from the film. This wee kind of thing here. Where they were in the chair that took them to the secret lab. That's, that's not how we get to the secret lab. In case you were wondering. We still got fucking ages before we get into the secret lab. Right, and then I think we should be able to just use a weight for the last one. That said, it does completely bank if we've got them all set right, which we do. Right. Let's just go and press the vent, see what we've got. Okay, we've got keys coming out with the ears now. Um, in this room. This is the puzzle I was talking about earlier. You need to get the correct um, sequence in order to open this door. And uh, I could sit and spend ages sitting trying to figure this one out. But I'm not gonna. We'll come back later. There is... the solution is like... Hidden somewhere. I don't remember where. Uh, if we get super desperate for items, then we'll probably go there and... You know, we'll probably just cheat. We'll probably just look up the, the solution. Uh, I think... Boss fight? No, not yet. We are coming to one more. We are coming to a boss fight very soon. Granted, we might get stuck before we get there, but we'll see. I don't think so. I think it's... 
Fairly straightforward to get there. Right. A key. That so? Yeah, there he is. Oh, we've got part of his jigsaw puzzle, that's good. Oh shit. Can be a bouncy ball. Oh yeah, that's the thing, your health goes down if you use the morphs. Oh shit, it's a blue key, we finally got one. The issue with the blue key is there's two blue doors. One leads to a single room and the other one leads to like another way to go. However, the one room is where the puzzle for these two guys are. Is words words are difficult for me, but I think it's probably worth not using that one just now. All right, thanks. Okay, oh, there was actually nothing in that one, so that was that was actually worse. Go. I hope you're all ready for another boss fight, because we got one. Why don't you stick around, Casper, and I'll show you what happens to friendly ghosts. <laughs> this is the worst one in the game, because you have to be exact. So the whole point here is the glue can stop ghosts, but you have to then put the glue out in front of the ghost, but obviously they'll just avoid it if you go anywhere near it. And also it doesn't stick me, which is weird. So you obviously have to catch them off guard. So you have to like try and get it so they're right behind you when you use it so that this happens. Ah, that's him. Usually that takes a lot longer because he's actually a bit of a nightmare to. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. To stop. I should say as well that uh, technically, if you're cheating, you don't have to get all the Lazarus parts. But if you're playing legitimately, you do because the door to the last bit of the game doesn't open until you have them all. But like, if you were to fly over the walls and go into that room, the game would just treat it as if you've got them all. You don't actually need to have them all. It's really badly programmed is what I'm saying. Alright, uh, we've got another piece of this puzzle. It looks like Casper. Ah, uh, Casper. Fatso has dressed himself up. He's looking dashing. Uh, where were any of the doors I couldn't open? Were they on the right of where I currently. or the left, sorry, where I currently am? Do the wee ball thing? I think they might be. I think they might be over this way. We're gonna go this way anyway. Because I think if I was to go through this... And then go down to the left. I'm gonna go and see if this is open yet. No, didn't think so. Worth a try. It was worth checking. Uh, yeah, over here. And then down. Eastbound and down, although that was west. But, you know. You get the joke. It's there. Up here, there was stuff I couldn't do. Right, got you. Nice. Um, the issue I have now is how do I open that door? Oh, 
Here. In a chair, though. Can I get a chair from somewhere? Is a chair over here? Nope. Did I uh, seriously need to drag a chair from all the way up here? No. Oh no, there is a chair. There's a chair in there. I've played this game far too many times. Oh! Oh, I really didn't expect that. What are you saying? Huh. Switches may not only be on walls, but other places as well. Sometimes they don't even look like switches. Always keep an eye open for anything unusual. I mean, it's not like I've been fanning about the whole game with things that don't look like switches. Like, excuse me, I think I'm fucking daft. Don't think I've got all the pieces for this yet. No, I don't. What's this say? The Whipstaff Lighthouse. So I need one more piece for that. I'm gonna need uh, one iron key and two brass keys. Okay. What's down here again? Is there anything interesting down here that I've missed? Or is this all good to go? It looks like it's good to go. Yeah, this looks all fine. Right, so, got blue key, we should go to the room with the blue door, and we'll go through the left door, because the left door actually has a new path to go down. I don't know if it's the right path, but it's a path. I'm just trying to think. Don't remember where you get another blue key from is my issue. Up we go. Let's go through this door. This is when I've got them mixed up. I don't. It's all good. Oh, you bastards. Yeah, there is a point in smelling water here. Extinguish the fire. Let's go. Nice. I mean, it's just a brass key. Basically, but we could always be doing with brass keys. Mmm, fisty chinna. For this door, we need a black key, which we might have seen earlier. Or we did see, but I don't know if you've noticed it. It'll be a good while before we get a black key. Get a net cut out. Hey, right, it's, it's going. We're, we're still going. We, we fought a boss in the time you were gone. You missed that. I say fought a boss as if it was a fight and not just uh, daftness. Oh, nice. Uh, I think one of these middle ones is to be off. Yeah, you need to like be ready to fucking hold your ears when you see me turn into a saw, Mikey. Like, 
I'm afraid that's just how it's gonna have to be. Sweet though, I'm glad we did this because it means I can actually finish one of the puzzles, which means we get a new item, which means we can fight a boss. You're one here is agony. Well, son, I gotta tell you, I'm working right now. We're doing it one more time. Actually, we're doing it two, two, two or three more times. So, uh, guard your ears. Yo. I told you, son. I told you to, to do it. was indeed. Oh shit! How many of that? Two. Okay, we don't have all the puzzle pieces for the one in the attic yet. We've got two. We're halfway there. Living on a prayer. I need a key to open that chest, which sucks. Because I need that. I need that. <laughs> There's that key item in that, get in that one. Cool. So we need to remember, guys. We need to remember, I need a, when I get a brass key, I need to come back here. Because we need that to fight a boss. Is there a button to turn into Mel Gibson? <laughs> Can you fucking imagine if there was, Mikey? We would be playing this game as Casper Mel Gibson. That's another way that the movie doesn't hold up, I suppose. It does have a Mel Gibson cameo. I mean, all he does is check himself out in the mirror, but, you know. That said, it wasn't even Casper, it was, uh... Bill Pullman. Fuck, actually! Just, just fucking, just realised the Ghostbusters did show up, although it was only Dan Aykroyd, I think. Um, like... Maybe Harold Ramis as well? Uh, I've just remembered that um, earlier on we were in the attic. I put a puzzle piece in the the frame, so we actually have a puzzle we can solve right now. So let's go and solve that puzzle. There's a whole bunch of brass keys in that room, just fucking teasing me man can i get through this room yes yeah they, they, <laughs> not all ghosts that's all i'm saying my boy casper has been judged harshly and unfairly and we get the light bulb which would be great for turning into a light bulb and going through this room yes that's right casper is now a light bulb A power. I need to get power. Can't even go in there I need a gold key. This power is literally only used to be able to get into this room. Which we need a gold key to, to go through. So there was kind of no point in coming back here. Well, your fucking ears. Is that the noise you don't like? I thought it was the saw noise. Yeah, turn it down. It's not even... I don't, is it that loud? Like, is it really loud for you, Crash? Or is it just Mikey being fucking... Mikey? Because I could turn the game down, but I, I would have thought the music would have been quite quiet. And you wouldn't be able to hear it. Not that loud to you. Okay, that's fine. Mikey's just being over dramatic. It's alright. You know what he's like. Gets excited. Ow! You daft me woman! Is there anything in here that I've missed? Have killed me. Except the carrots. No. It's just the carrots. Just the carrots. Don't worry about them. Uh, so we've got a puzzle we can solve again. <laughs> Aye, I mean that that's pretty loud, I would say. Although, is it louder than the saw destroying the planks? 
game sounds louder to you. What? Like, even in my levels, that doesn't make sense. Unless the game is going to whatever ear you're not deaf in. Although that sounds really hard. I'll give you that. The Fan Morph. Your one ear is much stronger. <laughs> you sound like a fucking, uh, like an anime character or something. My one ear is much stronger. Hey, let's go fight a boss, boys. Since we can. Yep, a boss fight, Mikey. Wait till you see this boss fight. This boss fight is a is a weird one. A very weird one. We've had we've had Fatso with the burgers, we've had Stinky with the perfume, we've had Stretch with the glue, we've had Ka uh, Fatso in the bath. Um I think that's it. We've seen a Fatso boss in the attic, but we couldn't beat it yet. I just wanted to show you since we were there. This is uncles. This is it's the three uncles. Right. Uh get ready for the uh the scariest room in the game. Or the creepiest room in the game, I would say. Terrifying. Uh, there was a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a sequel, but they tried to kind of make it as if it was, but it was actually a prequel. It was really weird, and it wasn't great. Yeah, we're straight to video. Right, get ready, boys. We we boss fighting. Why so grave, Casper? Don't you want to rest in pieces? <laughs> Hey! So, we don't get the regular boss music, instead we get the attic music again. So here's here's uh, Stretch. He's dressed up like a grave digger and he's got a shovel. So, uh, we're gonna turn into a fan. And do you want to know what we're gonna do? I shit you not, this is, how you, this is one of the ways you can beat this boss. There's two ways to beat him. We're going to blow him into the grave. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts. So there, there's two ways you can beat that boss. The other way is just as silly. Because there's another power, which is a whirlwind. And what you do is you stand in the middle. It's like a wee tornado. You stand in the middle of the grave and you, you hold in circle and then you like... He like moves towards you into the grave and he dies. That's the boss fight. <laughs> That's it. Right, I'm struggling now. Uh, I don't quite know where to go next. Ah, uh, a hundred percent. We could probably do a, a playthrough of Croc. I did do Croc a long time ago, but I really like Croc. I'm into playing it again. Let me just have a quick explore. Gex 3D. Gex is a weird one. I do like Gex, but um, I get bored of it quite quick. Did it? I know it sold really well, which is incredibly surprising considering it has almost no legacy, except... Guys, did you know uh, they were working with Nintendo on a Yoshi game and then they made Croc? Like... Don't have any brass keys! Gex was fun, to be honest. I, I really did like Gex. But it was like a really awkward game to play.
And then we've been here. There's nothing in here for me. Smash Bros. Battle Pass 3 needs to be filled. Mascot. There isn't going to be a Battle Pass 3. They're not making any more. Sakurai announced that like the next character is the last one. It would be fucking amazing if uh, if they completely trolled everybody and it was Bubsy. Can you imagine Bubsy and Smash? Right. We don't have any keys. They shaped the idea that Banjo Kazooie was a big childhood thing. People forgot about Croc and that. I mean, Croc and Banjo Kazooie was was part of my childhood. I think I need to go through here to get back. Raging, raging. But I think Banjo Kazooie All In is a better game than Croc. Like if you go back and play Croc, Croc has tank controls. Uh, I suppose it depends. I mean, you know me, I had both, but there was reasons, I guess. I was a wee fucking nerd, a wee geek. Imagine a Sephiroth trailer, but instead of one with Angel, all you hear is what could possibly go wrong. <laughs> like it starts, and um, it's all hype, and then suddenly you hear that, and everyone goes, what? Sakurai's just sitting there explaining how Bubsy works in Smash and we're just like, hold on, hold on, hold on a minute, nobody asked for this. He said, you're, you're sitting there fucking cheering. Um, hmm. I'm trying to rack my brains at places that we've not been to or not been to in a while. Up from Shafton, where everyone's kind of out the streets playing 64. So that's what we did, aye? It was a status symbol. So people knew about whose hussies to fucking rob. Fucking. What a place, man. What a place. I was looking on, um. I was looking on Zoopla for just like that kind of area, and there was there's a there's somebody selling a house on in Shafton for like hundred and fifty k, and I was like, what? Ah, uh, well, the thing about PS ones where it was really easy to to pirate the games. I have no idea if it's the ugly window one. The orange rim. No idea. I, I don't remember. <sighs> I'm starting to wonder if I should have just used the blue key, but I don't think I should have any. I don't think it was, that would have been a good idea. When we were a kid, we just tried to justify the Dreamcast against everyone who PS2 and Xboxes. Um, I mean, again, I ended up having them all. So, you know. I think I, I, I couldn't keep up in generations once the PS3 generation hit. Because I didn't have any of those consoles until, like, quite late on. I say quite late on. PS3 came out in like 2006, thereabouts, and I got it on in 2010, and I never had a 360, but we had a Wii, so maybe not. Maybe I'm talking shit. <laughs> Sitting on the fence. Listen, you can't have console wars if you just have all the consoles. Um, I'm starting to think. We we cheat the we cheat the secret room. That's what I'm starting to think. To get keys so that we can actually play this game. 
You end up in a small soldier situation instead. Hey, I wasn't complaining. Spawn the demon's hand is so good, by the way. Like, it's but it's way better than it has any right to be. It's really fun. But it's really annoying that you have to play multiplayer to to finish this the arcade mode. Like they clearly had high hopes for that. It's really fun. It's like a fighter, but it's like an arcade fighter, but instead of being like a standard one, you're sort of Oh, you fucking cunts. You actual wee cunts. Sorry, hold on. You're you're put in like a like a level where you have to you have to beat like the boss character, but there's also loads of wee underlings and things like that. It's uh it's fun. It is a nightmare to emulate. Dreamcast in general is kind of a nightmare. I've not tried it on Redream though. I'd maybe have to try it on Redream. But like I said, if you're playing single player, then it absolutely fucking fucks you at the end. I sorry. That that um all that swearing I just did a second ago was because I realised that a wee room had opened up that uh, wasn't open before. And I had to then try and figure out how the fuck I got to that room, but it's alright, I figured it out. Here now. So, we've got two brass keys in here. We're gonna have to use one on this, uh, this chest here though. Which is probably gonna have fatso on it, I take it. Yeah, he is. But, it's also the last puzzle piece in a different room. So here we go, we're continuing our game. Oh, that was weird. We can continue the game now. So honestly, see if the last Smash character is a Fire Emblem character, I'd be... Well, I say I'd be raging. I don't even really play Smash. But still, I'd love it to be someone hype. Like, do you remember when Joker was announced to be in Smash and everybody lost their fucking shit? Like, something like that. Okay, so before we move on to get that last puzzle piece, because I've already fucked going to get it anyway, I went the wrong way for that. I'm going to go over here and get this item first because it means we can beat a boss. Do you know, I wasn't really a big fan of Three Houses once I actually played it. I thought I'd really enjoy it, but it turns out I thought it was something else. I didn't realise the what kind of gameplay it had. I thought it was like a standard RPG affair, and it just doesn't it. Based on its faithful to so the specifically a title character's portrayal, visual effects, and musical score, performance, but criticised its dark story and humour. And what did they want? Here we go. It's a hammer and chisel used for carving rock sculptures. Oh, that so it's got another boss item. It's so dark. I tell you, the, the only thing that I think I could criticize it for is Casper just being a wee creep. Like, I get it, right? He's dead. He fancies the lassie, but he doesn't have to whisper in her ear, can I keep you? Right? There was just too need for that. Fucking, I bet you Weinstein was like, I want him to say that. We'll make the film, but he needs to say that. I mean, that's true. Yeah, it was all there. I don't even think in 1995 that was, like, an okay thing to do. To be honest with you. I feel like even in 1995 people would be like, huh, oh, that's a weird thing to say. Like, he has that scene in the film. And the, uh, the dance where he says it to tell Kat that it's him, basically. And it's still just like, well, you could have used any other line for that. You didn't have to use the pure creep line. It's fine. For what it is, it's fine. Oh, here we go. It is set in a town called Friendship. I forgot that, but yep, it absolutely is. It was pretty on the nose, let's just say. 
It was called, the place was called Friendship and everybody in the town were dicks. See, my favourite thing about this, you constantly bring up this fart the movie thing, is you always think that I bought it and I didn't. Eh? This is one of the gifts given. Was that in fucking Kane and Lynch 2, man? Oh shit, there's the little ones. And also, a door opened. So although we, we pretty much have absolutely no use for this tornado work, um, it opens a door. Which I don't think we can get to yet. It is shite, it is absolutely shite. <laughs> uh huh. Do you have a problem with that? So once we, if we ever get to that room, we can then get the black key. So we need to find the vent that takes us there. I don't think it's... Oh! Oh! Oh, it is that vent! Oh shit! Boys! Okay. We might be closer to the end of this game than I thought if we were already getting to the basement. Mind Max, Max Keeble's big move. Yeah, I remember, Mikey. I remember you just hitting giggle fits for ages watching that because of the monkey. The simple man with simple, simple pleasures. I'll give you that. So we'll go fight a boss first, and then we're going to go explore the basement for a bit, hoping that I can find a blue key. A bit unnecessarily dark for an adaptation of Casper. Is What part specifically are you on? Because it is quite a strange dark movie, but I think that kind of adds, oh, adds to it, I think. Remember us when playing outside he caught- oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, it doesn't- I mean he says- he has that speech but I don't think he um... Obviously the newspaper, newspaper article isn't something that's explicitly told to you, it's just sort of in the background. But yeah, no, it's pretty um... It's pretty dark. You gotta remember he's a ghost and also the ghost of a Wayne. So, you know, content warning, deed wanes, but... The killer who was executed. He was a win! <laughs> you talking about? Right. Boss fight time, boys. Are you ready? Are you ready for this boss fight? Care for a haircut, Casper? I'll give you a real trim. I don't know why the words. I don't know why the words are, are reversed. Because he says, fancy a haircut, Casper, I'll give you a real trim. But that's not what the thing says. Odd. Anyway. Anyway. Stinky. Stinky is a, a head cutter. And he wants to cut me. So what do we do? Well, there's a big bit of rock here. Let's sculpt Casper. Oh, look, he thinks it's me. And then he has a wee fit and then he dies. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts! I mean, they don't get murdered, they're just dead. Oh. Uh, I think there's only one boss left in the game. Actually, that's a lie. There's like a couple more, but like... No, nah, there's like three bosses, I think, left, but like... From the, these weird ones, I think there's only one, one or two left. Oh yeah, that's right, you're right, yeah! And Carrigan dies too, yeah, you're right, sorry. You're right. I have to cast it in record, I forgot about that. Well. Not murder. Accidentally. For Harvey. Harvey is the definite accident. Um, although they did try and kill him. And then they decided against it, I think, and then he just dies. Um, right. 
Down to the basement we go. I hope there's a blue key in the basement. J.J. Abrams did an uncredited rewrite of the script. For real? That's not true. He would have been. How young would J.J. Abrams have been back in 1995? How old is he now? Fucking J.J. Abrams is, is Casper. He's just a ghost writing movies. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there's no other place you can use a black key. So I'm using it now. He was 29 at the time. Right, this is the basement. Don't have any brass keys, so I can't open that. What's in here? I'm sure that'll open something later. Right, there's a lot of mad secret shit that you maybe wouldn't know to do. Like, for instance, this is a vent. It did just sparkle at me when I walked up to it, but... Ugh, that was a fucking horrific noise. I didn't like that. Also, this is also something you can vent into. But we need a gold key. So we, uh, we can't use that yet. And that's literally the only real reason it came in here. Is to get that puzzle piece and then that. In his 2015 movie Guide, Leonard Malton gave the film a bomb rating, objecting to the portrayal of Casper as a deceased child rather than a ghost. <laughs> a miserable little pile of secrets. <laughs> you first, Mikey. That's all I've got to say to that. You first. On you go. See, the uncles get a bit more jump scary down here. So this is R.I.P. We need to find the puzzle pieces for that. Uh, you might notice, but if you're not paying attention, it's very possible that this will go right by you. But there's a wee pipe here. And if you go over here, there's a vent. And here's another piece of the Casper Jigsaw. And another black key. You don't know them. You don't know fat so stretch and stinky. There's no other you think about there. Anything in here? Press that. I mean, yeah, you don't have to know anything else. Although, is, is, <laughs> is Fatso being fat a personality? Are we going to go there? Um, I'm just going to quickly check and see if there's any hidden vents here, because I don't know if there are any. And it, it would be just like this game to um, fuck me over by putting a secret in here. Doesn't look like it though. Cool. There's no... Just gonna quickly check just in case. Doesn't look like there but... So, there's actually more. There was Casper, this one. There was a Spirited Beginning, which was the one we were talking about earlier. And then there was a Christmas one that was all CGI. I don't remember the name of that. Oh yeah, Casper meets Wendy! Yeah! With fucking Hilary Duff, I remember. God, I forgot that movie existed somehow. I really liked that movie when I was younger. I've not watched it in a very long time. Right, we just opened uh, a door above us, I think. Oh shit, nice. Casper vs. Willis. The Sixth Sense, mate. That's what that film was called. Yeah, 
You have uh, more? I do. Good. Great. What's in here? Yes, man. A fucking million brass keys. Yo, we're sorted. Look out, Glowworm! Shot it! So this door here leads to the final room of the game, by the way. How would you figure this out as a kid? Fuck it, I don't know, mate. I had to get my granny to play this game, are you joking? Fucking shat it, boys. <laughs> Got fucking frightened. I did not expect that we hand to pop out. But uh, yeah, that door I just showed you, uh, the last room in the game, doesn't open until you have beaten all the bosses. You need to have gotten all the Lazarus pieces before you can you can do that. So this is a maze. The whole game is a maze and they decide to give you another maze at the end of the game. There's a white key though. We're getting to the point soon where we're gonna have to like remember where all the secret stuff is so we can go and do it um now there's there definitely is a secret vent somewhere in this room or possibly a couple there we go there's one I found a hidden hmm. behind the winding iron stairs hmm. okay hold on this is the solution to the puzzle we had earlier so what i'm gonna just do is get a wee notepad out so that I can take note of it. Did I, I never played Discworld, no. Here we go. We will go back to that later on. Is that, um... Oh, there's a gold key. Is that one of the um, adventure games? Nice. Another jigsaw puzzle. Oh. We didn't. We're, we didn't have to cheat to get the the solution to that puzzle, but it is pure out the way, and in a pure secret place. So I wouldn't blame anybody for doing it, for cheating to get that because. What a nightmare. Oh, way back up we go, because something has opened. But where? That looks like. Oh, red key. Um, Let's go back up to the left, I think, just to see if anything up here opened first. You're streaming tomorrow? Yeah, probably. Uh, I'm not sure what yet, though. I haven't quite decided yet. Uh, no, no, don't go that way. Go this way. Get my white key. Silver key, sorry. Cool. Where's that room again? I think I remember. Right, we need to remember this room. We need to come back here later. We need to remember it's at the end of this mad maze area. We'll do Saturday then, finish in Balan. Oof, are you gonna have a greet, mate? Greet and a joy, because you'll never have to play it again. I mean, I could not, because this is going to be a bit of a longer stream anyway, and I don't tend to do ones on Thursday. Um, but we'll see. We will see. Anything else to do in here? I think that's another piece for the thingy puzzle we're currently doing. 
Wait a minute, is that an emote of the Big Show greeting? Because why the fuck? Nice. And I don't think I've been in here yet, because I would have gotten that chest if I had. Oh, nice. There's that door open now. So we can now open that later. Oh, we are very close to beating this game. But we're still going to take a while because uh, there's some bonus stuff. We're going to try and get as close to 100% as I can. You cunt. Uh, hmm. So I have a gold key. And I've seen several gold doors. We're trying to we need that for later. But it's not for a boss though. You've had to go through levels with the right bits gathering trophies, see if this game is better laid out. Yeah, it probably would be okay, but it just looks like a fucking slog to get through, mate. It sound, it just looks awful. I'll not lie to you. I I don't even think I'd buy it for a for a laugh if it was really cheap. I just don't think it'd be interesting to play. I'm gonna use the gold key here. No, I don't need to do it, you're right. And I'm gonna continue my life not doing it. Nice. Cool. That was worth it. Right. What does this take me? What's what is Mind Jack? Mind Jack. The red key. Aha, look at this wee bad area. So many red keys, holy shit. One day if it was fat so far a little bit in the original movie. Yeah, well. Yeah, he, there's a bit where, um. There, there's a bit where he, uh. Wait, when does that happen? I think he just makes a mad random joke somewhere. I was thinking of when Harvey is looking in the mirror and he turns out at different people, but that's. I don't think Roddy Dangerfield was that scene. I don't remember when that does happen, but I do remember it happening. I need to pressure Kieran to play. Mate, I don't even want to watch anybody play Putty Squad. Fuck that, that's just an aneurysm waiting to happen. Honestly. And I'm no into that. I'd quite like to not have an aneurysm. If I can help it. Right, I have a hunch of where a blue key might be. It's more trying to remember where that room is. Oh, I think it just came back to me where the room was that I'm looking for. And I believe it's up these stairs on the right. I was like, why do I think that though? <laughs> like, I just put that through my brain. I was like, yeah, but why though? What makes you think it's here? Because I think it's in this wee vent over here. Because there's a silver door. Also, Mikey, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to uh, make your ears bleed again. Yep, I definitely am. So, get ready. Is there a blue key in here? I feel like there might be. He does turn into Rover, Rover Dangerfield. <laughs> I nearly did that earlier, Mikey. Oh no, it's a secret. Oh no. Okay. 
You thrust in it while we're doing your field, but it's not fat, so it's um It's Harvey that turns into him then. Okay, Rover Dangerfield, but what a film. What a film. Oh, here, I've just remembered that I've got the puzzle. I've got the solution for that puzzle. Just I've got, just looked over at my right and seen it on the notepad and went, oh yeah, shit. I've now, I'm now able to solve that legitimately. Um, it's over this way. I try to remember when I last watched the film. It was definitely at least a few years ago. It wasn't like fucking 10 years ago or something or 20 years ago. It was like fairly recent, but not like recent enough to remember. Staircases up here. Don't ask me why I remember the, the layout of this place. It's probably just because of the amount of times I've played this fucking weird game. On, on, off. Oh. Okay. I apparently had most of it solved already. Fucking yes, man. Give me all your keys. It was bad. It had Polly Shore in it. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking terrible. <laughs> it's actually really, really bad. I remember I watched it a few times as a kid. But I don't really know much about it, except that it was bad. Go. Got a gold key. Nice. What I could be doing is a black key. Do I need... I'm missing a puzzle piece for one of the secrets. I was really hoping I'd get a coloured key in this room, but I didn't. And I'm a little disappointed in that one, but it is what it is. We'll deal with it. We'll move on. Could you get through the door, Casper, please? Thank you. Jesus. How does how does Fatso get through these doors? Because they're quite narrow. But he's a big boy. I don't mean to shame the poor guy. Hey, he's got he's got a thyroid problem. But logistically, how does he do it? Yeah, so is Casper. And Casper can't he just fucking go through the just put his through the walls. That sort of not going to be able to do it. Casper's a bad ghost. I mean, that's true. He is a friendly ghost. He is the friendliest ghost that you know. Allegedly. I don't know if you know many ghosts and how friendly they are. Quite frankly, it's none of my business. I think I heard like a bastard there fly beside me there. I just heard a mad buzz. Um, I'm going to go back to the secret maze room uh, because I can't remember why I couldn't continue. I'm assuming I didn't have a gold key at the time. And now I have two. So I think it's worth going back and having a wee gander. I feel like there's maybe a blue key in here. But I might be wrong. Hold on. Before I go up here, I'm just gonna have a quick sweep. There it is. There it is. Called it. My my weird like memory for this game is creepy. Like holy shit. It was just as I was walking over there, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's a key I've missed over here. And I was correct. Right, this puzzle uh, seems intimidating at first, 
But um, the puzzle is actually really, really simple because uh, X marks the spot. Right, this is where I put all my Casper stuff. Uh, I need one more to finish it. I'm sure we'll find it later. It was worth a try. You never know. Are you alright? Are you eating wings again, Mikey? Have you got saucy fun that's again? But yeah, he does have a painting of himself. He does, I. Why, why does does auto-correct itself to Daryl's? I think that speaks a lot about you, Mikey, if I'm honest. Right, so that was pretty good because now we have a new room we can go into um, where hopefully we can solve a puzzle and fight the last um, the last sort of spread out boss. There's two more bosses in the game but they're like a room away from each other. They're like the final bosses technically. <laughs> That's... A state, Mikey. That's what that is. When the patter becomes too real. There we go. I can finally come into this room. Bastard, I don't even have water. Raging. have two of the pieces for this puzzle. Smellogram. Yep. And I think... Oh, that's a jigsaw piece. Nice! I need water though for that, so I can take put out the fire. Who saw the original castle, by the way, and then thought what was missing from the wall was a ghost school at Ghost Central? It don't. There was so many weird Casper cartoons. There was one where there was like a ghost school. One's good after it's not so it is. Um, I don't know where the nearest sink is. So I'm having to go and fanny about to somewhere I know, know there's a sink. In fact, that's an even longer route than I'm taking currently. Hold on. Back out, Casper. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean it. Did Casper go to school with fellow Universal Monsters? Because yes, that was one of the cartoons. Yep. Yeah, I much prefer kind of dark, creepy Casper. I I dread to use the word. It's not a real word, but I'm gonna use it anyway. Cartoonist. It's very like of that time. You know, fucking Tim Burton sitting out here making like Edward Scissor hands, and they're like, oh, let's make a fucking dark as fuck Casper movie. I think it's a lot better than squeaky clean cartoon Casper. Anyway. The Lovely Bones is a prequel to Casper. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. I think it, I think it's good, certainly. Yes. That's that's kind of a, it. Kind of fits with what was going on at the time, you know, like Adam's family, like you're saying, which was also really fucking good. Yeah, I really enjoyed that kind of stuff. To be honest, I remember as a kid enjoying the spirited beginning film, but it's. Definitely a really big downgrade. Yeah. Definitely like a fly in this room. Which, I mean, isn't surprising. The window's open, but you know. I better have the last puzzle piece in here. Doesn't. 
See, the, the problem I'm having right now is I have explored everywhere as far as I'm aware and I cannot find this. I've not seen this puzzle piece anywhere. What is this one called? Is this uh, All for One and One for All? Yeah, All for One and One for All. Uh, the problem of looking up a guide for this is the only guide I remember seeing, at least back in the day, was one where it was like a massive wall of text of just like instructions of exactly where to go and what to do and didn't have any like you know oh this puzzle piece piece one is in here and piece two is there you know so it's very difficult to look up i mean maybe that's changed i'm trying to i'm trying to remember where i seen golden doors before hmm James the Giant Peach was a fucking weird film. I really liked it though. Like I say, I, I kind of like that weird kind of creep, creepy kind of aesthetic, but that film was like really weird. That pure ran with it. Meme. No. Where's all the secret shit that I found? It's one in the attic because I need the light bulb. And yes, okay. It's not going to help us though, with what we're actually doing, but it's something. I might get us the Casper thing though. It's that secret shit. Um, I'm wondering. Where the fuck am I meant to be going? Because I've forgotten what I was doing. Uh, bear with me a second while I just try and remind myself what I was doing. The attic. I was going to the attic. I went the wrong way. That's why I'm confused. I'm wondering if it'd be worth doing like a proper guide for this. Or at least detailing where you can find stuff. But that would involve actually knowing where to find stuff. And then also like trying to figure out what to call places. This game's very windy. And then also, who's actually going to use that guide? Because who who plays this game that isn't me? I work for The worst thing is, I need that, I need that puzzle piece. I actually don't think I need this yet. I don't, but I'm just going to be a light bulb. Got to be a pure creepy bastard as my light bulb. Right. I can't do that. It's now no longer too dark in here. Oh, you never need to um, get rid of some of your games, pal. For that nonsense. Oh, it's the last bit of Casper. That's good, eh? I mean, it's of no real use to real use to us right now. You got seventy five quid for for all of that. Fucking hell, man! Mikey's rolling in the money. You can buy yourself one PS five game. How do you feel? I think finally Demon Soul is affordable, exactly. Right, um, we should, well, well, let's go finish Casper. That's the start of the secret stuff. I have a vague idea of where this last puzzle piece could be, but um, I'm not 100% sure. And I don't know if I can even look it up. Because the issue with this is now we've seen like every area in the game more or less, so 
could be fucking anywhere. Eight quid, man. Yeah, get that shit on eBay, mate. Eighty quid was the price CEX wanted, was it not? Like, I'm sure you could get more more out of that uh, on eBay if you really, really wanted to. Oh, fucking way. I did that last time too. Just completely went the wrong way. Right. Get ready for this shit, boys. You ain't even prepared for what is about to happen. We got the bonus spring morph. Now you might be wondering, what does the bonus spring morph do? Pardon me. Jesus Christ, what a fucking investment that is. I don't hear anything, is it? Hold on. I think there was a puzzle piece down to the bottom left to here, but we think we already got it. No, it's a go. Yeah, we did. The OST is going right through you. I mean, I quite like the, the soundtrack, which helps, but the game only has like five tracks, and every time you leave a room, it starts the song again. So I can absolutely understand why you're saying that. But right, anyway, Mikey, you might want to be careful with your ears here because this could potentially be quite loud. So the spring morph icon is useful for exactly one place and it's right here. You need to use it in the middle of the, the, the main room. And it takes you into a hidden bonus room. No, they don't, they don't even animate it, they, he's just there now. Lily ran out of the room. So this is why we needed all those red keys, by the way. So we could open the doors in here. So if you somehow manage to get to here without all those red keys, you'll be like, what the fuck am I doing here? We got another puzzle piece. How many keys do we have now? Do we have them all? We're missing exactly one. We have almost hit the biggest secret in this game. Oh yeah, no, we were saying earlier, Mikey, um, like, me and Crash could probably, like, make a sequel to this. Like, may bother. Like, it wouldn't take very much. Uh, warning, the spring's about to happen again. We will be coming back up here later, though. If we can find the other puzzle piece. Right. I'm gonna have a quick a quick wee Google and see if I could find out where this fucking piece is. Just so we're not pure fanning about. God oh, damn. Yeah, this is useless. Uh, it's, only, it's the only walkthrough there is as well, and that's the worst thing. Let me see. Rip Casper. <laughs> it's gone. Uh, do, 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 do. Fucking, I might just have to explore for a while, boys. Start over. 
<sighs> right. Let's have a wonder then. Because we need it. We absolutely need it to, to continue the game. I've not been in here for you, I'll. Up the, the green room, which I think might be where it is. But I don't really know if that's where it is. I just think it might be. There might be stuff that we've actually missed because we didn't have... Um... Oh, in fact! This is open now. Okay. That's fine. A black key is actually really handy because there's another secret room that we've not been able to go into, into because we didn't have a black key. So now we've got that, we can explore that later. Just a quick check into these rooms. Oh my god, Casper, please. I don't think it's in here, but... Uh, so we were talking earlier that... Um, saying that uh, Bugs Bunny Lost in Time might be a shout. I've got plans to do Rugrat Search for Reptar next. That probably won't be an afternoon one though because my pal's been wanting me to play that for ages and she works um, during this kind of time so wouldn't be able to watch it. Yeah, alright Sean, how you doing? Yeah, de yeah. We definitely will be telling Candy Keen about that one. He'll be, he'll be, he'll be keen to watch that. Certainly. This is where I was thinking it could be, but I'm sure... Shrubbery. I'm sure at the time, I was like, checking up and down here to make sure I didn't miss it. can't see the text but all right that's fine so you, you can just shout his name from the hilltops mate it's fine i'm sure he will only mind how did casper die again hypothermia that is family murder i'm wondering though about the uncles like what is the story with the uncles are they actually his uncles or did they just haunt the same house pneumonia oh Being really cold, that's what you died of. <laughs> God. Doesn't even know his favourite film. This is not my favourite film. I can't I can't justify Casper being a creep, you know. It's not on. I'm just trying to gauge if there's any bits that I couldn't open earlier that I've not checked in a while and forgot about. Because there was a lot of times where I just didn't have keys um, and had to like remember to come back to places. You want a Zimmer remake? Like like me and uh, Crash were talking earlier, Sean. Like we could probably remake this or like make a, a very similar game. Is it in here? Please tell me it's in here. It's not in here. Oh damn! This is the only other place I was thinking it could be. Just because I have like a really bad track record of like forgetting to pick them up when they're in these places. Ludicrous voice, Casper. That is ludicrous, Sean. I gotta say. Where was the other black door I couldn't get through? Was that in the spike area? I think it was. The spike. The spring. Hmm. 
No. No, it wasn't. It wasn't, but I don't remember where it was. I can imagine them casting Ben Schwartz as Casper, if I'm honest. Here, he tries to harass the girl in the fucking... the original film. Ashton. That other di place is in the basement, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I remember what it was. It's cool. I remember. We're not going there just now, though. I want to see what's in this area. I don't think there's anything, though, but... For fuck's sake. Let me just have a quick scan of this area. Just to make sure that we've not fucking missed it. I tell you what, see the Xbox controllers, man. They were not made to constantly be using the D-pad. Because it is uncomfortable. I played a bit of Fear Effect and I could... I didn't like it. Really. I think Candy Keen was playing it on his stream before and I don't think he liked it either. I think there's actually a clip on his Twitch channel where he like takes the disc out of his PlayStation 2 and fucking flings it across the room. Like I, th that video I'm pretty sure exists. Definitely not listening up in there. So many rooms in this game that you can't get to if you're a human. There was driving sections in for your effect. <laughs> okay, never mind. I get you, Sean. I'm with you. We had to drive the Mako. Aye. I remember. What's on this? We, um, again. Yeehaw. Oh. Worth checking. And I think there's nothing here either. Oh. Yeah. Cool, that's fine. You just remember cool graphics and that you shouldn't be watching it. Yeah, that was a uh, cell shaded graphics, but it was a really weird game to control. It seemed a lot more action based, but it was it had the control scheme of like Resident Evil, so it was just really awkward to play. I do not think it was built for that, but I could be wrong. Like I say, I never really, uh, I never really played it. I remember downloading it on an emulator and not really bothering. Playing it for a wee bit and then just being like, Ugh, I could be doing anything else right now. Oh dear. At what point do we just say fuck it and cheat boys and just fly over the wall to the last room? We're getting to that point, yeah, it's looking like it. We've still got some stuff to do though. I'm not saying we're doing it yet. We've still got some stuff to do before um before I wanna end the game anyway, so we need to go in here, because there's a black door and you now have a black key. And we also have a gold key, yeah? No, we don't, we use the gold key. I'm raging. Raging. Okay, I thought we had I thought we had another key. But apparently we don't. Yeah, Mikey doesn't see anything in this game, Sean. It's me to like see. And also, like uh people did want to play it, want me to play it. And this is gonna this is a longer stream, so I've got the time for it, so. Oh, 
Well, well, this is probably the best time because this does take a a good while to to get through. Is there any way I can like figure out where this fuck the puzzle is? No, Mikey didn't. Mikey didn't request this. No. Not my precious boy. Your precious boy. Don't you fucking do this to me. an attic bit up here and I don't remember if there's anything else you can do with it that I just didn't have the items for. We're just gonna get a quick check. Mikey would request Bubsy. And I ain't above not playing Bubsy. I ain't above playing Bubsy. I'd play Bubsy. That's what I'm trying to say. Bubsy's one of these games I actually I mean I know you did as well Sean but I did have Bubsy as a Wayne. I am definitely above Pantsu Hunter. That's not happening. Especially after watching like a wee bit of Mikey playing it. It is just... Why even bother? It looked fucking shite. I think I've officially run out of places to go. Um, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check one more place. And if it's not there, then we're gonna fly over some walls and finish the game. Well, not finish the game, but like do all the secret stuff that I'm planning to do, but I'll just cheat it. Cookie music is unpleasant. Yeah, it's pretty unnerving sometimes. It's weird that it's in a game like this, or like, this is the music for a Casper game. But I guess they were trying to stick to that kind of gothic aesthetic. How many keys do I have? Oh, a lot. Okay, that's fine. There's probably a couple of things I could open in this area that I've not opened, or... In a different area? We'll see. That's not opened. I don't really need it to be open as a thing. The Sean thing. I like people playing different games, just knowing me playing them. I mean, fair enough. At least you don't have to sit and concentrate and figure out where everything is in this game. That's my job. But for the most part, I know where a lot of the things are in this game. But just sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, where the fuck is that again? Oh, I couldn't open this before. Is this it? Have we found it? Oh my god, it was here the whole time! Guys, we found it! <laughs> Pantsu Hunter, shite, Mikey. That's what you missed about it. I forgot about that chest. Fucking can't even believe it. Oh wait. Wait, 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 Oh, boys. That boy got that virus! I fucking shat it there, Sean. I can't even like you. That's nice for Pantsu Hunter. Mate, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even bother referencing Pantsu Hunter. Ah, nobody's gonna get it. Nobody but you has played Pantsu Hunter. You're a dirty wrongin' so you are.
Finally make some fucking progress, boys. We can finally fight a boss. I bet you were. I wouldn't have played it. I don't know why you decided that was a really good idea. The whole stream you were sitting there like, oh, I don't know why I'm doing this. Hey, right, finally. The hammer morph was what we did all we were looking for that puzzle piece for. It turns out it was at the start of the game, more or less. I'm Jason E9 raging about it, but it's cool. You need to stop playing games that you don't want to play, Mikey. Or games that you you hate playing after like five minutes. You need to find games you actually enjoy playing. And won't regret streaming. Like I know this isn't the most entertaining game to play, but like I'm enjoying myself. I'm chatting shit. That's all I need, then. Right, here we go. Finally, we could fight this boss that we saw like two hours ago. To the Balan. Right, so the strat. We turn into a hammer. Ah, fuck his tanks. This is an actual fight. This is like the, the first fight in the game, really. And then he chases us, so uh, genuinely this is what you have to do. You get the winding key out, and uh, you turn the medical go round on, and it distracts and kills Fatso. I found one of the missing Lazarus parts! I don't know. You figured it out. Yo. Cool. We have one more part to find, boys. Um, the only thing I'm wondering... The game is amazingly put together. <laughs> yes, great. I went the wrong way. We only need one more Chaos Emerald. I think if we go back down to the basement, then it's going to open up the last room. But I don't actually want to do that yet. There's... I need to find that last puzzle piece. I need to find a gold key. Never done Ghost Sonic. I really don't think so, but... I'm not, I'm not super into Sonic lore. You might want to ask Mikey, who is potentially better than me at that. Um, basement, that's where I want to go, what about basement? <laughs> I'm more into Sonic Vore. Excuse me, hold on a fucking minute here. I don't care for these accusations. Tasty hedgehogs. Oh my god. Right. So we should hear the chain door opening when we go in here. There we go. And it'll have a big arrow, like, get the fuck in here. If we go down here. Go and the arrow, it's like, come on. Oh god, that is. Oh, that's really bad. Look at it. It's off center at the, at the tip. Ooh, I don't like that. We're not going in there yet, though. I don't remember the why we couldn't finish this maze earlier, and I'm just wanting to have a look and see why. I don't think that I can end it. I don't think I can get through it yet anyway, but I just want to have a look and see. Wait, what was in here again? No. 
nothing, right? So it wasn't here, it was over the other side. I think it was the last room in the game, wasn't it? Actually, I actually don't think I can do anything with it yet. Right, pat, patch it for now. We'll fight, we'll fight the boss. Because uh, then that'll lead us into the next and final act. Where possibly we'll be able to get the last puzzle piece. Hopefully it'll um, give us a gold key. Let's do it again. Okay. Right, so, second last boss of the game, boys. What do you think it's going to be? Do you think it's going to be an actual boss battle? Do you think it's going to be like a... Like a puzzle or something? A load of first. So, uh, it gives you the icon when you come in, literally, is this. That was that. Now I've got all the Lazarus parts. All I need to do now is assemble the machine in the laboratory. There we go, boys. That was it. We've now got all the Lazarus parts. We did it. So let's go to the next room. This fancy little room. Need brass key just in case you need it. Oh. And then you get here and you're going, hmm, what do I need to do? Why is it not working? Well, I hope you got the screwdriver more. Because. <laughs> You need to turn into a screwdriver and go bonk. We assembled the Lazarus, boys. Then all of a sudden. Casper, you've got to help us. My dad had an accident and. <laughs> Hello, it's me. I'm a ghost. I'm free. I've never felt so alive. I can fly! We have to find the capsule with the cellular integrator before it's too late to save him! Without it, the Lazarus won't work. Act 3. Find the cellular integrator. That is your in your in your clue. That is the clue. Find the cellular integrator. We gotta hurry up and find the cellular integrator, Casper. We don't have much time! It's alright, cat, I get it. Fuck. So then we've got a white key that Cat just has. Question mark? I don't quite know where the fuck I would use a white key. Right. <clears throat> but the room we need to go to is actually in the basement. Beachy looks strange. Yeah, she's not looking too good, is she? Cat Slater. I became a total slag. Hold on. Can I use this here? Let me just... Oh, that's just gonna hurt me. Right, through the maze we go. Not on my computer, no. My computer does not have a disk drive. Otherwise, I'd probably... Uh, I don't know if I could emulate this using my disc, but I do have a disc copy of this game. It's currently in my unplugged PS3 though, so... Um... It's in here, I'm wanting to go, why am I an idiot? Why did I walk right by it? Right. This is where I need to be, but how do I open this door? Hmm. Right, boys, I'm gonna opt to just finish the game, real not finish the game, but do this map walk over walls cheat. Just gonna take me a while because I don't remember how to do it. Thank you. 
So what the, so what happens, right? You need to go up to the top left corner. You need to like hold up and left, L1, R1 and start, and Casper will freeze. And then you need to let go of some of the buttons and then press some other buttons. Press triangle, it takes them out of the takes them out of the uh, the freeze. But you need to like I don't know what the buttons are is the problem. Oops, I've accidentally paused it. I'm not quitting, I'm just like... I'm just gonna make things a little bit easier on myself. To s not waste as much time. Just skip the Twilight Prince, it takes like 12 hours. No? There we go, I'm over the walls. What room is this? Right, so that's why I need the white key. So that would be... On the right hallway, and all the way over there, through like this whole fucking way to get to here, to open this door. So that I can press this, and it'll open that over there. And then use the weights to open that door. And then if I made my way all the way back over, I would end up back here. Where I would open this door. And there's the cellular integrator. Holy shit, that's ridiculous. Right. So I'm gonna just, um... We still got some secret stuff to do, but like... I don't think anyone would really care how we get to any of it. So we're just gonna make things easier and just go over the walls a bit. So right at the end of the game anyway, like, we've not really skipped anything, we're just making it a bit quicker. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it absolutely is. Back off, you spook! Wow! Yes, man. Yeah, the integrity of the run's pretty broken, but it's alright, it's not a speed run. It's fine, mate. It's okay. We'll get over it eventually. Um, will we quickly go to the basement again? Yes. We're just going to skip the golden door and see what we get. It's not this way, I'll go this way. Go on, Alice in Wonderland coat. You used to wear a lot. I've only seen you wear it once, Mikey. Did you just wear it about the house before or something? Like. There is a photo, yeah. That's true. That's that's the that's the time I'm talking about. That's the time I saw you in it. Right. I don't know where I could get a gold key from. Um, I can't think of any other rooms that we've missed, but I really want to show off some of the secret stuff, so I'm just going to do this nonsense. Okay, that's ridiculous. And I believe there was a gold key in there. There's only one other secret place I can think of, but... No. No, I can think of another one, actually. How long have I been on for? 3 hours and 13 minutes. It's a lot, Casper. 
See, if you were to type... He's on mobile. He's not on a computer, so it doesn't tell you on mobile. If you type exclamation mark uptime, it will tell you, though, in the chat. Uh, back to the garden, I think. There's one room that I have not been to. Again, I'm just going to go over the wall because I don't remember how you get there. I'm sure I'll kick myself once we, once we see it. Oh, I'll be like, oh yeah, it's this fucking place. That's right. Break on the wall. Right. I knew at some point we would resort to going over walls, but... This ain't a serious run anyway. Really. Who does a serious run of Casper for PlayStation 1? Unless it's like a speedrun. That's serious business then, but, you know. It should be casual play. So, we've not been in this wee room. Because there's a wee switch here. It does something, but I don't know what. So let's see where this takes us. Where would we have ended up? <gasps> oh yes, that's right. There's a wee secret there. I forgot about you. A wee secret vent there. I don't know what it opened though. That's the only problem. Um, let me just see if I can find where this other piece is. Hold on. Go to the clock in this room, go back through the vent and to the left vent this time, go right and get the... Oh, back to the secret garden room. Where the fuck is the secret garden room? How do you know what that is? Oh. I guess that's the secret garden room. What does it say after that? Hold on. What? Move the bookcase out of the way and go through the door. Oh! Secrets, boys. There it is! Right, boys. Get ready for the weirdest secret. I actually don't even think I needed to go into that room with the golden key. I think I literally just needed to fanny about here. It's so weird. I guess this is just time saving at this point then. That we're just kind of floating over walls. Right, here we go. Get ready. I got the super super Casper Man Morph. The Casper Man Morph. Do you remember that bit in the film? Where he turns into Super Casper. Genuinely, that happens. But he turns into Super Casper. Casper Man! Defender of the weak. Champion of the defenseless. Strange visitor from another world. Faster than your average ghost. Stronger than a locomotive. <laughs> yeah, I bet you didn't know that was a thing, did you? Um, so as far as I'm aware, there is only one use for Casper Man. Uh, and it, it is the, it hides the weirdest puzzle I've seen in a game. 
Um, well, not the weirdest puzzle, but like it's just, it's just such a weird one. And it's in the attic. So, what do you think you would do with a Casper Man power? In this game. What do you think you would be doing with a Casper Man power? What's the worst game I've played? I actually don't know. Uh, I think it's this chair. Right. Let's have a look. Well, this chair. There's a chair that you have to push as Casper Man. That's what this power is for. Defeating Simba to get his Turbo Man doll. Is it that chair? No, I've just pushed that chair. What am I talking about? Let me, let me get a Casper Man form for a second here. Also, he, he seems to only give the speech the first time you use it. Which is a shame, but... Where is it? Is this it? I don't think so. Let me have a look. Oh, it is it. There we go. So here is a vent. Here it is, boys. The last puzzle of the game. I found a hidden bone. Right, pick a hole in the ball, play first of all. Get ready. 52, 2, 10. Right? Here's a bunch of switches. Fifty-one, twenty-one, eleven. No, 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 no. Five, two, two, one, zero. How do you solve? The answer is deceptively simple. Well, Mikey, you are absolutely nowhere near so far. You're just hitting me with numbers, which isn't right. Anyone else want to hazard a guess as to what the fuck this means? Just five, two, then two, then one. No. So I know the I know the the method for this puzzle, but I might still get it wrong because I don't know which way it's supposed to go. You do fifty-two squats on stream. No. So I'll I'll make it I'll make it simple. For the middle one. That's two. At least I think that's two. That might be not be two. Hold on. I'm trying to think how I would make ten. No, that doesn't make sense. This must be two. Because then, for 10, that. No, that doesn't make sense either. It'd be this, then. Don't try to figure it out in my head. So the way it's supposed to work is like, if you think of that uh, binary, 
but I think it starts at 2. So, in that case it'd be 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Yep, fine, yep, mm-hmm. Because then this would mean, if we were doing it right to left anyway, which is how I remember binary, but I think it might be left to right in this game, I could be wrong, but this would be 2, 4, 8, so 8 plus 2 equals 10. This one would be 2, so that would just be 2. Yeah, you see, you see what I mean? It's weird. So 32, 16, so that's 48, so then I'd want 4. That's it, so there's a, there was like a, there was like an old forum back in the day, I don't know what it's called now, but um, I'd asked about this, if someone knew what the, how to solve the puzzle, because I had absolutely no idea. I was stumped! I was absolutely stumped, and they said, okay, it'll just be a simple puzzle, it's a kid's game. Like, yeah, okay, it's kind of a kid's game, but when they put, like, a fucking programming puzzle in the game, what? <laughs> like, once you understand it, it's really, really simple. But if you're not thinking of that, you'll be stumped for pure ages, you know? Right. Um, that is it. As far as I'm aware, I don't think there's anything else in the game. If there is, I don't know about it. Um, that's like the big secret that I know. No, I wouldn't call it programming, but like binary, you know, it's that kind of... Aye, power to... Aye. It's a, it's, a, it's a funny one. I think it's more complicated than expected of this game. Especially considering the, the rest of the game so far, you know what I mean? It's been really simple. It's just a lot of backtracking. Cool. Well, we're going to end the game now. We're going to go and finish the game. So we just need to go back to the last room. Can't believe you're ending it. We've still got a wee while before we anyway. I say a wee while, it's like five minutes, if that. Actually, it's probably even less than five minutes. Right, here we go. Oh, shit. Right, back into the room. Yes, boys, let's save Harvey. Let's save Christina Ricci's da. Here we go. Here it is, cat. The cellular integrator. Now we can get your dad back on his feet again. Oh no, it's Carrigan, who's never appeared in this game. No! Casper, you've gotta get it back. Yeah, it was ages ago. Yeah. Right. This used to terrify me as a kid because this is creepy. Look at our mad fucking ah! Uh, get away from me, hen! Literally, here's the. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to drop these gold coins so that she slows down to grab them all because she's greedy. That's her character. And then, literally, what you do is you open up the chest. And then she just goes in and dies, and that's it! Tick game over! That's it, it's done. GG. Now we can turn your father back into a living person again. But then you'll never be. This is the way it's gotta be. Yes, the plot says so. It's just for us to go at ham. Hey! He's back, boys. Thank you for saving my dad, Casper.
<laughs> well, there you go. That's it. That's your ending. He keeps that. He only got killed once. Well, there you go. I still really like it. I know it's quite dull, but um, it's good. This is the second half, by the way, of the attic music. Um, this is when it starts getting like pure into it. We actually never got to hear it because uh, I was never in the room for that long. Oh, never mind. Let's move to a different song. It's all good. It's doing a, it's doing a medley. This music will be in at least five film and movies then. What? What are you saying? There you go, there's your, um, the cast list. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that, boys. The credits are not over. He's a film and guy feels too fast. Is that not Charles Band? That, that Charles Band role, he, he done a like, Puppet Master and all that. David Fritit, what a name, holy shit. There was two programmers for this. Makes sense. Well, what a jarring cut, holy shit. No too many, fuck off my dude. I mean, I'm not surprised that it was programmed by two people. There's not very much to program, I don't think. There you go. Is that actually finished now? Hang on. I was just going to play the intro again. Please wait. We're waiting. I think it's just going to put me to the... There we go. Well, there you go, boys. That's your Casper done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Crash, do you have a raid? Do you have a raid person? I'm having a look and see what's on. Oh, Numa's on. Is it going to be Numa? <laughs> Good. Numa is being Crofficer. We could we could go Numa. Um, your pal Jack, by the way. Uh, Mikey has played Sonic Adventure DX. But we're not going to raid your pal Jack. I'm afraid. We are probably going to raid Numa. Numa is currently playing on the GTA RP server as a polis, as a policeman. Which I've actually not seen too much of, actually, so that'd be fun. I hope he's enjoyed the game, boys, and I hope he's enjoy Numa's stream. I will see you next time.